Audiences go to the theater to escape, but for set designer David Korins, his job is to make shows like Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen a reality. How do you approach designing a set? You know, I approach designing a set the same way I approach designing really anything that I work on, which is um, I talk to my collaborators. We start talking about what we want the people who are going to experience this thing, whether it's a concert or a restaurant or a gallery or a show, what we want them to feel. And we really try and drill down that emotional landscape. So when you were doing this kind of process for Hamilton, yeah. why did you end up with this particular set? So I tried to think about what was really the show about. And the show is not about the people who built the country. The show is about the people who built the scaffolding from which the country was built. And now, you know, when people see the show, they don't necessarily read or, or acknowledge the kind of big theatrical ideas. They just say like brick and wood and scaffolding and ooh, those turntables. But it's, it's become such an, uh, an intrinsically important storytelling device in the show um, because it, um, it's literally baked into the DNA of the show because once I gave that to the director and the choreographer, they went back to the rehearsal room and they like exploded this idea and they use it so beautifully, the staging is dependent upon it. Dear Evan Hansen is about a lot of 21st century phenomena like the internet, texting, social media. How do you artistically incorporate those elements into a show? I wanted to show um, what it felt like to kind of troll through website after website, you know, take three hours of, you know, cyber trolling and boil it down and drill down that idea into like a three minute song. And so we get to see the internet for good, for crowdsourcing and, you know, the community banding together around this idea of building an orchard. And also we see it for bad when things go viral in a negative way and, and what those things feel like and how they could compare and contrast with each other was really the challenge. And we did it with a series of screens and monitors kind of flying all around these little pots of life. My process always starts with these really incredibly rough um, sketches in which I oftentimes do them when I'm talking to the director or the collaborator and say like, it's like this, is it like a round room? Do you know, do you feel this? Then we start to move into kind of computer generated um, renderings. These are the finished renderings that actually storyboard each one of the scenes. Um, and then you can see eventually move into three dimension and make a model. I mean, that's the architecture of, yeah. of this. That is the architecture. It's kind of an interesting mix of storytelling, design, and physical construction. I think so. The reason why I veer more towards this as opposed to architecture is this doesn't look like anyone's home, and I'm happy about that. To me, it's about really, it's about storytelling and using architecture and space. Um, and, and being able to filter it through an artistic sensibility and make it more abstract and deliciously exciting.